In this video, I will discuss how to use the formula related to electron transitions in calculations. Hey, I'm Teacher Tan. If you like my videos, do remember to click on the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any notifications when I update my channel. These are the formula that I introduced in my previous video when I explained about Bose atomic postulate. The first formula here is the formula that is used to calculate the energy of an electron when the electron is at particular orbit or at particular energy level. The rest of the formula will be the formula that we use to calculate the energy of photon, the energy difference, or even the frequency and the wavelength of the photon involved due to the electron transitions or due to the movement of electrons between orbits or between energy levels. Which formula should be used in calculations involve electron transitions? So there are three steps to follow through. Step number one is to list out the information given in the question. Step number two, you choose an appropriate formula related to the information given and the term that you would like to find. Step number three is to substitute the information in step number one into the formula in the step number two to get your answer. For example, in these questions, you want to calculate the energy of photon with frequency given. So step number one, you list out the information given, which is the frequency of the photon. And in step number two, you choose an appropriate formula which relate frequency and the energy of photon. So the formula should be energy of photon equals to Planck constant multiplied by the frequency of the photon. Because this formula relate the energy of the photon that you want to find with the information given, which is the frequency of the photon. And step number three, you substitute the information into the formula in step number two to get the final answer. In example two, you want to calculate the wavelength of photon and you have been given the frequency of the photon. So again, step number one, we list out the information that have been given to us, which is the frequency of photon, 3.02 times 10 to the power of 15 per second. And in step number two, you need to choose an appropriate formula which relate what you want to find, the wavelength of photon, with the information that is been given, which is the frequency of photon. So the most appropriate formula would be the frequency of photon equals to the speed of light divided with the wavelength of photon. And in step number three, you just substitute the information given into the formula to get the wavelength of photon. In example 3, we want to determine the wavelength of photon emitted when an electron makes a transition from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1. Again, first step, we list out the information that have been given to us. And in this example, is the electron transition from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1. Then, we choose an appropriate formula to relate the wavelength of photon emitted with the electron transitions. So the most appropriate formula will be 1 over wavelength equals to Rh, the Rydberg constant, multiplied with 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square. The n1 and the n2 here are referring to the energy levels. And for this formula, n1 must be smaller than n2. For this, our n1 will be n equals to 1 and our n2 will be n equals to 4 because 1 is smaller than 4. With this, then we can substitute into the equation to get the wavelength of photon emitted which is equal to 9.72 times 10 to the power of negative 8 meter. For this question, another thing you need to take notes on is the Rydberg constant. The Rydberg constant here must choose the Rydberg constant 
which is related to the wavelength, which is 1.097 times 10 to the power of 7 per meter. We can look at the unit to determine whether the Rybert constant is related to energy or to the wavelength. So related to the wavelength will be the Rybert constant with the unit per meter. Related to the energy will have the unit joules. I will show you in the next example on how to use the Rybert constant involve energy, which will have the unit equals to joules. In example 4, we want to determine the energy of photon emitted when an electron makes a transition from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1. Again, in step number 1, we list out the information that have been given to us. Here, it is the energy levels from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1. Step number 2, we list out the formula which relate the energy of photon with the energy levels for electron transition. And the most appropriate formula here is the energy of photon equals to the energy difference between energy level which is equals to the Rydberg constant multiplied with 1 over n initial square minus n final square. Then, in step number 3, we just substitute the information that we have in step number 1 into the formula to get the final answer. Be careful, here the formula is n initial and n final. Initially, the electron is at n equals to 4, so means that the n initial is equals to 4. And n final is n equals to 1 because electron makes a transition from initial energy level n equals to 4 to final energy level n equals to 1. So we substitute this into the formula, then we can get the energy of photon which is equals to negative 2.04 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules. And the Rydberg constant that we use here must be the Rydberg constant that is corresponding with the energy because we want to find the energy of photon.